Hey guys, and I have a very exciting series to announce. One of my clients is building their very own custom home, which is where I currently am right now. I have not only been able to watch, but to learn every step that it takes to build a house. Now before I talk about the very first step that they took, let me just give you some insight and some background on this home. This house is on a concrete slab located in the western suburbs of Chicago. Building a house on concrete is pretty unusual in the state of Illinois because most homes use wood and have a crawl space or a basement. This home doesn't have any of those. You see, most buildings here that are built on concrete are typically commercial buildings. So if you're thinking about building your own home in the future, you might want to keep watching and learn the steps that it took to get here because this type of house can be built almost anywhere. Before I get started, let me just briefly show you guys the floor plan and the exterior so you can get a sense of the space. Here's the floor plan. It's a nice little small home that features three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's 1,300 square foot, so you know, pretty decent size. This is the exterior which I helped design. I picked out the colors for the roof, siding, garage door, front door. Uh, please note that the front door will eventually be painted black. Now let me walk you through the very first steps. So the first step was to create the footing. And if you don't know what a footing is, it's under the foundation of a house and its purpose is to support the foundation and prevent settling. Settling is also known as your house slipping into the ground, which I don't think anyone wants that. So they started this by using two by 10 concrete forms, which is those wood looking blocks. I have the white arrow pointing to it. For moving on to the next step, they had to pass a soil test. It is extremely crucial to have good soil in order to have strong footings. And unfortunately, they did not pass the first time. So they came across an issue where the soil was black dirt, which is not sustainable when you're building a home. Since they failed, he had hired an engineer to do a soil bearing test. It basically tests the soil to make sure it has the capacity to withstand a house because the soil directly under the footing takes the greatest load, which again is super crucial to have a good, strong foundation. So they dug two and a half feet more into the ground found clay and passed the inspection the second time around. So in case you didn't really see the difference, here is the images side by side. The left side is the black soil, which is not good. And of course, you know, it's darker. And on the right hand side is the clay, which is what you want. And it's obviously more lighter and has a brownish tint. So I want to mention that this all could have been avoided had he done the soil bearing test first. Instead of having the inspector come in and tell him yay or no, that's a waste of money and time. Oh man, that's a lot of information I have thrown at you guys. So I just want to make sure you are still with me. And if you are, please give this video a thumbs up. Next up is pouring the concrete in the footing and creating the keyway. So in this image, what you saw before, that little trenchway is now filled with concrete. And the keyway is actually that thin indent, that thin strip that is in the middle of the footing and it goes all around. And after that's done, it's time to build the foundation walls. So if you don't know what a foundation wall is, this is the platform for the house and creates the ground level. And if you're more of a visual person, I created this image for you guys to see and visually understand what I'm talking about. So the footing is at the very bottom. If you remember, it basically holds up the foundation walls and the top of the foundation wall is what creates the ground level. I know so much information, but um, I think this image will be helpful. To create the foundation walls, they first started placing the Simon forms all around the keyway. In this video, you can see that they place the Simon forms on the outer part of the keyway, but they also have to be installed on the inner part. Since these forms are on both sides of the keyway, they basically create a box and opening so that the concrete can be poured in there. And here's just a close up shot of the opening. Once the concrete has been poured into the opening and it's good, these Simon forms have to be taken out. And it's a lot of manual labor, let me tell you. And here is a picture of how it looked like after the Simon forms have been taken out. After that was completed, it was time to install the plumbing. Now before the plumbing was done, they did install a two inch foam insulation to the foundation walls. And you may be asking why add insulation to the foundation walls? Well, it's actually going to prevent moisture in the home and help maintain the temperature. So keeping it cool in the summertime and warm during the winter. Then they fill up the area with gravel and then install the plumbing. Step 
step number five was placing a plastic sheet and wire mesh over the gravel. By laying a sheet over the gravel, this is actually going to help with moisture again. So they, they are not taking any chances with moisture. And then they place the wire mesh on top of the sheet. Now you may notice these little blocks that are placed randomly all throughout. Well, these are going to hold up the wire mesh. The wire mesh cannot be touching the floor when concrete is poured. This is going to prevent the concrete from crumbling if there happens to be a crack in the future. And it's going to make the concrete so much stronger. And now, it was time to fill the area with concrete to finish up the foundation and these are images that I was able to capture once it was all done so once that was completed it was now time to start framing which was the exciting part well I'm going to leave it at this and save framing for part two so stay tuned for that and lastly I just want to say that yes concrete is pricey but it's well worth the penny it's going to last you many 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 years because it's really durable I hope you guys enjoyed this part on how it is to build a house and if you did I would appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to stay in tuned and stay updated on the building this house series then make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on next week's video bye